In this lesson, we'll go ahead and learn how to upload files inside of a file input field. So let's go ahead and inspect the same. You can see it as a input field with the type specified as file, which is a file input field. And it also has a label. So we can select it using its label. So we can say something like file input. And then we can use the get by label input field and type out its name. That is default file input example. And great, we have selected it. And to actually upload a file, what we have to do is use the file input element and call the set input files method. So we can provide the destination or the path to a file we want to upload. And this is running on this location right here. That is x slash opera. And here I have some files. Let's say I'd like to upload this file.txt. So what I can do is simply say file.txt. Uh, if I hit enter, you can see file.txt is loaded. And because it is set input files, we can go ahead and upload multiple files as well. So instead of a single string, you can provide a list of file paths. So you can provide something like app.py, you can provide file.txt text as well. If I go ahead and hit enter, you can see it goes ahead and throws an error because this input field does not accept multiple file uploads. But if it does, you can use a list as well. So now moving on to another scenario that is sometimes you don't have a input element that is the tag name of input, you just have a button a normal button like this. And when you click on that, it goes ahead and shows you a file chooser like this. So how to handle this situation? Well, we can use the playwrights page objects expect file chooser with our with context manager to catch the same. So let's go ahead and see how to do it. So we'll start with the with keyword because we are gonna use the with context manager and we will use the page objects expect file chooser like this. And now using this, we can alias it as FC info, that is file chooser info. So we can go ahead and say something like when we click on this element, the file chooser will pop up and then we'll store that as FC info. And the action which will trigger the file chooser should be inside of this with context block of code. That is if I click on this input field, it goes ahead and pops the file chooser. So that code will be here. And we have already located our element that is file input. But in your case, it may be a button or something else. So I'll just go ahead and click it. You can see the file chooser did not show up this time, but instead it was handled and stored in the FC info. We can simply go ahead and take a look at the FC info. You can see it is in object that is even info. So what we can do is create a file chooser using this FC info objects value. And now we can set files in this file chooser using the set files method. So let's say File.txt is already selected. I would like to select app.py instead. Specify that, hit enter. You can see app.py is selected. So what we did is used the with context manager to catch the file chooser using the expect file chooser method on our page. And we stored it as FC info, triggered the code that showed our file chooser, and then we extracted the file chooser from the FC info and set the files using the set files method. So that's how you upload files into an file input field.